Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Donna's Book Addiction. And as I promised, I have a uh, big book haul to show you. But first, let me tell you, um, we had a big event uh, for our nonprofit organization, Main Street here in Marion. And uh, the UA students came out, helped us. We planted trees. We had a grill master cook off. We had live band. Um, we had activities for children. It was such a fun day. The weather turned out perfect because we thought we were going to be rained out, but it, it, the sun came out, the skies opened up. It was great. And I want to thank the U UA students who are my subscribers uh, from Honors College at University of Alabama. I want to thank them and the staff for coming to Marion and helping us out greatly. So thank you. Now, I have books to show you. So let's get to it. So I purchased a book by Ayana Mathis. Ayana Mathis had a book out previously and hopefully some people have read it. It was The 12 Tribes of Hattie. Well, these were short stories. Uh, yeah, I think they were, but they all culminated into one, interlocking stories. Very good. This was very well done. So, when I saw this book, The Unsettling, I said, oh, yes, um, that's a no-brainer. I got to buy it. And it is a searing multi-generational novel set in the 1980s in racially and politically turbulent Philadelphia and in the tiny town of Bonaparte, Alabama. I'm in Alabama, so that's going to be very interesting reading about a mother fighting for her sanity and survival. So I'm giving you all a brief synopsis of these books because I have so many and I don't want to drag this video out. But this is definitely on my TBI. I'm hoping to get to it soon. But look at that. And Ayana Mathis, if you're not familiar with her. She is a black author. My next book that I purchased from Kwame Alexander, and it's called The Door of No Return. I saw this book uh, featured on another YouTuber's channel, and I said, very interesting. I'm going to add it to my wish list. And it is a tween's fiction. And it's the first book in a searing, breathtaking trilogy that tells the story of a boy, a village, and the epic odyssey of an African family. So, and as you all know what the Door of No Return is, it was a, a place in Africa that held the slaves before they put them on a ship and sent them off to the United States for servitude. So... I'm going to hopefully one day get into this and it's history, historical fiction. So my next purchase was a book that I also discovered on a YouTuber's channel and I found it interesting and it's called Sync and it's a memoir. It's by Joseph Earl Thomas. And Sink follows Thomas's coming of age towards an understanding of what it means to lose the desire to fit in with his immediate peers. A turbulent family or the world and how good it feels to build community love and salvation on your own terms. And so this uh, YouTuber seemed to enjoy this book. So... I definitely want to sink my teeth into it. A memoir, I love memoirs, and it's called Sink. Have you read it? Let me know. So this is called Eye on the Struggle, and this is by Ethel 
It's the story of Ethel Payne, the first lady of the black press. And it's by James McGrath Morris. It's nonfiction. And doesn't she look very outstanding and intelligent? I mean, this is uh, what? For decades, Ethel Lewis Payne has been hidden in the shadows of history. So I had never heard of her, but this book will probably give me a glimpse into who this person is. I mean, that cover is demanding attention. So Morris draws on a rich and untapped collection of Payne's personal papers documenting her private and professional affairs. He combed through the oral histories, FBI documents, and newspapers to fully capture Payne's life, her achievements, and her legacy. He introduces us to a journalist who covered such events as the Montgomery bus boycott, the Little Rock School desegregation, sorry, desegregation crisis, the service of black troops in Vietnam and Henry Kissinger's 26,000 mile tour of Africa. Ethel Payne. Ooh, this is gonna be good. So I, I purchased another memoir and it's a personal memoir and self-help. There's been a lot of controversy on this book. However, I like reading for myself and making determinations and decisions. And I might learn something about this person. And I purchased Worthy. And this is Jada Pinkett Smith. Now, Jada Pinkett Smith chronicles lessons learned during a roller coaster ride from the depths of suicidal depression to the heights of rediscovery and a celebration of authentic female power. So as you know, her husband also wrote a book and that's Will. So Will Smith and Jada Smith. And I have not read Will yet. However, I would love to do a back to back. I'd like to read both of these simultaneously or one after the other and get a comparison in their backgrounds and lifestyles, where they've been, how they got where they are. So I will one day do a side-by-side -side reading of Will and Worthy. <laughs> so this next book was a high recommendation from a fellow YouTuber and she praised how good this book is. So I searched and searched and I had to find this particular copy online. Um, I preferred this copy. You know, I'm a cover girl, again, a cover girl. So I wanted House of Stone with this cover. And this is, let me, let me say it right. <laughs> No Vuyo Rosa Schuma. I apologize if I did that wrong, but that's my best. <laughs> anyway, it's a historical fiction and it was first published in 2018. And it's about Bukosi who has gone missing. His father, Abed, and his mother, Agnes, cling to the hope that he has run away rather than been murdered by government thugs. Only Roger seems to have any idea. Zumani has lived in the spare room for years now, quiet, polite, well-read, and well-healed. He's almost part of the family, but almost isn't quite good enough for Zamani. Well, this is going to be, I think it's like a mystery. And this book has won awards. It's been nominated for political fiction for and shortlisted. It's won prizes. 
and it sound like it's going to be a deep dive into something. So I'm looking forward to reading this and hopefully posting a review on my blog. So anyway, I'm going to stop here because I have way more books than I just showed you. And I don't like dragging out these videos. I like to take my time and talk about them and get your viewpoints on, you know, have you read any of these? Please comment below. Let me know um, any recommendations uh, of books that may be similar to these or um, what you may have found intriguing and interesting reads. I, I need to add to my list not that i need to buy any more books but i have an addiction <laughs> and so i'm going to show you what i'm reading now and what i plan on reading for this month so if you remember if you see my other video i picked my book from my tbr jar and the book that i picked is Wahala by Nikki May. This is a fiction novel. However, <laughs> how far have I gone? I have not gone very far in the book. It's building up about the three friends, Boo, Simi, and Ronke. Ron Ronke? Hope I said that name right. I'm listening to it in audio and I'm trying to keep up with what's going on, but I kind of put it aside to finish this book. And that's The Heaven and Earth Grocery Store by James McBride. Oh, he's a good writer. He is so good. I am so enjoying this book. And when I made, when I decided to make this video, I was hoping I would be done, but I got like one more chapter left. <laughs> one more. So I won't be talking about it in this video. I'll come back with my small review, but I will post a full review on my blog. And please, if you have not read any James McBride, you're missing out. I read uh deacon king kong and oh my god and his characters are so well done as well as in this book big soap <laughs> fatty paper uh, i could go on and on and it's just a delight and it's a mystery as well and it's about community and different cultures it's taken me, I can see it, uh, it's taken me different places, but I will give a more detailed review when I have finished in one of my future videos. And then for the month of July, I have two books that I plan on reading. And my book club has selected The Three Mothers, and it's by Anna Malika Tubbs. And it is how the mothers of Martin Luther King Jr., Malcolm X, and James Baldwin shaped the nation. So I'm looking forward to reading this with discuss, to discuss with my book club. And also for Read So Lit with Dee Dee. They're going to be reading this book, One Blood, by Deneen Milner, uh, for the month of July. So that's in July. I'm sorry, not June, July. Um, I hope to have another book pick for, I like to at least get two books read in a month. That's my speed. I cannot do 25 books. Some tubers, some YouTubers have read 25 books in a month. I'm like, what? No, I can't do that. But 
I like to do at least two books and I have a lot of books that were given to me for reviews. So I need to really catch up on that. But anyway, that's it. I'm going to stop here and I will continue showing you my book haul in the next video. And I thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Hope to see you soon. Bye.